Now I'm in a quandary. I was going to pick work ethic, but choral music might actually be good. In fact, feed the world also would be okay. The cities would grow really tall. Welcome back. We will be doing Reach for the Heavens as Khmer, which is to win a culture victory as Khmer, uh, as Jaivarman of Khmer. Yeah, that's pretty much... I, I don't think we have any more um, details on what... Uh, I, I believe the map setting is wetlands um, and all other victory types are disabled and pretty much we have to win as culture. And I think Khmer is um, uniquely suited for culture anyways. But not in a direct way, in sort of an indirect way, but it should be uh, pretty interesting. Let's talk about Khmer for a second. So the main thing is monasteries of the king, which is holy sites are granted a major adjacency. Uh, next to rivers which means they get a plus two next to rivers and they culture bomb all the other tiles uh, next to it and they give food equivalent to its adjacency bonus and to housing if it's on a river which means we are pretty much uh, building all our holy sites on rivers uh, since we will be doing that the pantheon the river um, goddess pantheon is pretty strong in this situation I'm not sure. I, maybe it's possible that, uh, depending on the map and how it looks like, uh, we, there might be some other lucrative pantheon that we may want to go for. But I think River Goddess is going to be OP in this situation. It's, it feels like one of those pantheons that the game designers just put in thinking about uh, a civilization like Khmer uh, with its abilities. The Grand Beret is the unique aqueduct that Khmer builds. And it gives you amenities, uh, but more importantly, it gives you one faith for every population. That's actually pretty OP. And farms next to uh, aqueducts as well as holy sites give you food and faith respectively. The farm thing is maybe, uh, depending on how tightly clustered we have, our districts may not be really useful, but but we are, every city is definitely going to be building. Actually, honestly, building in Finna culture game, the only three districts we need are holy sites, aqueducts, and theater squares from there on um after that i mean we will have tall cities we will have we will have the ability to build more different kind of districts and we will definitely do that but th these first three are uh, crucial and uh, pretty much straightforward the domre is the uh, unique treb trebuchet replacement for khmer uh, actually it's pretty good it can move and shoot in the same turn which is pretty awesome um I don't know if there is going to be a war-oriented game. It's possible. I do not want to discount the possibility of war here. Um, especially if, like, let's say... Um, I mean, a neighbor who has a lot of theater squares and possibly holy sites is should, should feel like an attractive target if it happens. Uh, but we are not actively going to be seeking out war. Um, and again, it's an, it's Emperor difficulty. Um, things will be generally easier because I've been playing pretty much every game at DT uh, for the past year, and I'm expecting I'm expecting to get some things that I normally wouldn't even try for in DT. But uh, let's see how the game goes. We'll have it should be fun. The Prasad is the uh, unique building. Um, that a uh, unique temple replacement uh, for uh, Khmer and it gives six faith straight up and then it gives uh, another I think 0.5 uh, oh, it gives just 0.5 culture for every population in the city and after flight it get tourism for uh, 10 tourism for 10 pop cities and 20 tourism for 20 pop cities and higher um, yeah I mean that's so reaching flight is going to be crucial at some point as long as we have like a good amount of cities with holy sites so yeah that's that the strategy is simple explore expand <laughs> uh, anyways uh yeah the holy site first uh aqueduct second theater square third and somewhere in the middle of that we will try to put down a, f a handful of strong uh spaced out tall cities and try to figure out where to put our government plaza and diplomatic quarters and the like. Yeah, that's it. Let's take a look at the map. Okay, 
I mean, just off the bat, oh, Ma Mount Vesuvius, okay. Great holy site there. Okay. So, a straightforward observation here. Um, if I wanted to settle, settle next to Vesuvius, I don't think we will be settling next to Vesuvius at all. But as long as this, this tile needs to belong to some city because it's going to get wrecked and it's going to become a strong, uh, it's going to become something strong. Yeah, it'll improve by Vesuvius. Settling in place is fine. It takes away... Okay, let's take a quick look before we settle. Okay. I think I'm going to settle there. Faster growth is always useful and it can work. There are some decent uh, first ring tiles that can work. And okay. So this sort of... Oh, this is beautiful. This is like a setup right here. And industrial zone here. And possibly the theta square here. This game starts in the classical era, which means everything, all the ancient data decks are already unlocked. Yeah, I'm going to get my ancient walls as soon as I get my holy sites. I think that's going to be a priority. I may not, I may wait to boost it, but I definitely want, uh, or I, I don't even have to boost it actually. Let's just beeline for it. Okay, same thing here. We should straight away go for political philosophy. And I have a fix, I have a worker. Okay, so I'll settle here. Okay. You will chop things. You will definitely chop things and make the city grow taller. Holy site first. Seven turn holy site is good. We don't have to rush for a religion. In fact, we don't even care if we get a religion. Um, a religion will help with the, with the culture victory actually. Or no, let's take God King. Now we will be getting our holy site, so let's get extra production here. Let's take discipline, that's fine. There will be some barbs around here. And since it's a classical era, they will be stronger barbs. So we've got to be a little careful. I could go Magnus, um, but I'm already chopping things right now, and I don't even... Uh, let's just get Pingala. It's the best bet here. Pingala and Pingala will start culture. This game is all about culture. Let's just maximize culture here. Chop that. Next turn we have our holy site. It's 47 turns to engineering. That's actually quite a lot. Can put the second district down. And okay, let's start working a shrine first. Put a government plaza right there. Hello. Oh. And he wants an encampment. Okay, I don't care about encampments. Johannesburg is a pretty decent uh, city-state. I mean, the industrial city-states are going to be, are not as going to be as useful this game. Having one production for every improved luxury and resource type is pretty useful. And it basically doubles up. This will probably get chopped eventually, but we only have... Yeah, this city may just have one. Okay, I think I'm going to circle you around this way. Some good land up here. A nice river system here. Let's place the government plaza and I'm going to queue up the ancient walls. Torre del Pain. Torre del Pain is right there. So when you have a city state at a distance like this, they will protect you from barbs in this area. We got to have some units on this side too. There you go, Torre del Pain. We are the only one walking towards religion.
Hey, force meet on Zanzibar. Huge. Okay, we are definitely getting a heavy chariot. Zanzibar is gives you amenities. Since we have first met them, there is nobody up here. Which means we are definitely soothing them. Poundmaker? Hey, let's try to be friendly. He's typically um, pretty friendly. Let's send him a delegation. He can be a decent friend, actually. All right. I mean, river, it has to be River Goddess here. I can't really see anything else. I mean, oh. <laughs> um, no. I think River Goddess. We will build settlers the old-fashioned way. In fact, we don't even need expansions early. But this is going to be huge um, very early. I picked that before I could second-guess myself into doing something stupid. Sometimes that happens. I mean, I've played the wetlands map uh, in in the past. I I just think it's one of those beautiful maps. Now I know I should be picking Classical Republic, but I'm going to pick Autocracy here because I'm really hoping to build some wonders. So that's what I'm going to do. The Great Profit points first. And first Envoy gives me two, and Discipline is fine. But the strange is our bar I'm not sure our barbed disabled here. I don't see why don't I see any barbarians? How did this get boosted? So you are going to go to no. You will pick grants first. I would put a city down right there and do stuff. Pretty good city. But it's too far for us. Where is the Cree, by the way? I hope they are not... I mean, I don't mind if they are close, uh, but it'll, it'll change our game strategy a little bit. Yeah, definitely. Four turns, we'll start building an aqueduct. Or maybe around four turns. Etamananki's gone, Oracle's gone, okay. Yeah, there he is. So he's probably south, somewhere in this vicinity. Uh, it's Tundra. So we are in the southern hemisphere, more or less. Okay, drama and poetry is done. Hey! Hey! Whoa! Hey. Okay, that's good. Kill. I don't know if I'll have a river settle next to it. So, I can put down Taylor Square first or Campus first. I think Campus... Um, I'll grow. I'll grow. Let me put the Campus down. I'll finish the Heavy Chariot, then get a Builder. And then I'm going to try and chop some of these tiles. We can put the Atri for the Apadana. It's 28 turns though. That's quite a lot. Because I think we are production challenged right now. So yeah. I think the Heavy Chariot and Builder. Maybe two Builders. Probably is okay. Yeah, and we are definitely doing work ethic here. I'm definitely going straight for Theology. It's 9 turns. How far are we from... Um... Oh, we'll, we are, we'll have a religion very, very soon. And we are definitely getting production there. Oh, he's right there. I think because it's a culture game, no one is going for religions, which is kind of um, strange. Engineering. Let's queue up the aqueduct here. I think finish the heavy chariot and actually finish the aqueduct. Wait, why doesn't it say beret? Oh, it's not a unique district. It's just a um, uh, ability. I thought the Grand Berets, uh, maybe I'm confusing it with the uh, Civ 5 building, which you could build. Okay, anyways, so the thing is, yes, we need aqueducts. Definitely build the aqueduct after the heavy chariot. And yeah, we have a lot of things to do. I think I'm going to get Ancestral Hall here. Oh, no, well, no. I'm going to get Audience Chamber here. Let's get Iron working. Buddhism, for sure. Now I'm in a quandary. I was going to pick work ethic, but choral music might actually be good. In fact, Feed the World also would be okay. The cities would grow really tall. And I think that's what I'll do. Let's get Feed the World. Work ethic will help production in the city. And I think I need that right now. We will... Our Pantheon helps. 
I mean, there are not too many games where Feed the World is available for me to pick, and I pretty much pick it. But this is one of those games where I have the ability to pick it. I want to pick it, but I think Work Ethic is the right choice here. Why am I overthinking this? You know what? Let's just, just yeah, we're going YOLO. This is Emperor level, so yeah, let's just YOLO this. Feed the World, World Church, possibly. Should be interesting. Either World Church or Tithe. Because we will need a lot of gold eventually. And now, let's get the building first. We should get a stupa, which gives us amenities. Amenities are going to be a blocker, a blocking thing that we need to worry about. And we are going to keep growing really, really tall. So let's queue up. Now, we can't yet build um, the Prasat, but that's that's a priority building for us. We should get a writer or a scientist. Could get Corvi. Oh, let's get the builder policy. We will be making builders. At least for a few turns. The Cree also can um, have a tendency to make tall cities. So if he forward settles into me, um, it will be challenging to take over his cities with loyalty. But the way our cities are growing, um, it's going to be... It's not going to be easy uh, settling close to us. Zanzibar for more amenities and uh, no tribal huts in this game maybe there are no tribal huts if i don't find them in like the, these remote reaches which the ai just doesn't really explore into yeah it's fine what we have is fine let's just get some builders yeah we are uh, we are good with abilities right now Thing head straight for monarchy it will be a while yeah johannesburg encampment may not happen i think there are no tribal huts in this game Went from plus three to plus four because of the aqueduct. We are already, yeah, we are growing really, really fast. I think monumentality, golden age, but I think I probably need to get Magnus um, squared away very, very soon. I don't want to lose, start losing pops in my cities. It is standard speed, but okay, because we started in the ancient, uh, in the classical era, um, the turns are a little slower, I think, or. Usually, uh, in the ancient era, you need 25 era score to make it, uh, to get a golden age. Yeah, you're going to give me a free city, aren't you? And I think you should. I'm putting Amani in Johannesburg. Definitely. Yeah, let's improve. Let's put some mines down first. Fertility rights for Cree. One of these is the holy site. And the other one is a commercial hub. If the commercial hub is here, the harbor goes here, the city goes here. If the commercial hub goes here, the harbor can go here and the city can go here. Either or, any situation is fine. The city can actually go in either of these tiles. But no, I need an aqueduct too, which means you... So there's, there's no commercial hub in the city. This would be the city here. Theater Square. Let's see if it can we can make it happen. Our question is even if whether we actually need it. Yeah, he's fixing his loyalty. Uh, we need to get Amani into Johannesburg, and we need a Golden Age, and we need Cree not to get one. I think Cree will get a Golden Age though. Yeah, I need to put some mines down. 
There's got to be someone else on this map too, on this on this continent rather. Actually, press out first. All these, yeah. Actually, I don't want to remove these tiles just yet. I need to raise some gold really fast. One twenty five. If you hey, I'm gonna buy that from you. I'll sell you open borders. And sell you all my iron. The area north of Anchor Thumb. Yeah, the area north of Anchor Thumb is pretty much secured, securely ours. I'll put a city down here somewhere, but... Yeah, we are going to pressure these separately. He doesn't want gems. I need to buy that tile to work it. It should be close to trying for the golden age. Do I want to unlock another harbor? I think I can. It's fine. Well, let's get currency. I really hoped I would meet someone else by now. That's okay. Diplomatic quarter. Can put it down right there. And I think that's my next district. Um, at thirteen pop. Yeah, there's no no way that he that the Kree are not going to be in a golden age. Too many things have happened and. Although we are going to be in a golden age, I can guarantee that they are going to be in one too. Because they get their unique building and then they, the me co-op which they end up building. Uh, as the Kree, it's very, very easy to get a first golden age. Recorded histories, governor title, and I will get another. I'll get two governor titles here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take Magnus. Do I need Magnus and provision? Actually, Magnus provision and surplus logistics is pretty strong. Let's think about this for a second. We have one governor promotion. We will be getting a second one in seven turns, and besides that, we will be getting a third one. So we'll be getting a third one. The fourth one will be far away. So I, I'm in seven turns, I'm getting two governor promotions, which is going to be pretty much my... So I have two for Magnus provision. So this particular promotion can go to Pingala. Do I want Curator this early? Can I buy anything? Great works of writing. In which case... Actually, yeah, let's put Amani. I think we should start working on Johannesburg. Amani in Johannesburg. Yeah, this is going to be a gold challenged game overall. Yeah, there is somebody else here. Hey, Belemina. Honor to meet you. I'd love to sample your hospitality. Let's send you a delegation. You're happy with everyone. Sure. 
Send you a delegation, and you are probably not going to be very happy with me initially. On 26, definitely sell it. Buy that, and we are plus three. We're not ecstatic yet, right? Just happy. Okay. In which case, I can sell this one also, and buy this tile. Let's start working the gold. Alrighty then. First city goes down here. Yeah, we have options. A large part of this game is going to revolve around flipping the city. Yeah, I wanted to boost currency, but that's fine. That's okay. Hey, Bowel. Oh. Why didn't I meet you earlier? Um, Amani, you need to go to Valletta. And Valletta wants a religious conversion, doesn't she? So we will definitely get on that. Oh, stupa? Yes, buy a stupa. And get a missionary. Are there any other religions gone in this game? Hinduism. Indonesia or India? One of those two is in the game. Yeah, she built the Atamananki. Oh, good God. Oh, good God. You gotta screen capture this. Yeah. The game does this to you sometimes. I think I'm gonna go YOLO this one for now. Other tiles within nine tiles. Emissary. A huge risk here is we are collecting so much era score right now. We might stumble into a dark age next era. Pick Magnus and bank him. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure out what to do with him. Yeah, there's a good settle right here. We put down a few holy sites here too. I hate putting districts down next to volcanoes, but um, I think, yeah, it'll have to be. Currency. If currency is done, I want to get to mathematics. Yeah, have we overshot our era score needs this game? By quite a lot. Korea. Things are gonna get very interesting. This is gonna be a huge science threat. But there's no science victory condition here, so I don't know what Korea is gonna do in the game. All Korea is gonna do is deny the other civs like great scientists. That's pretty much her purpose. Kind of annoying. So our tech parity is pretty strong. Our cultural, yeah, we are, we are leading in culture, more or less. Okay, finally, classical era is about to end. It's a, little, it's a weird map, feels like. So we are four civs so far on this landmass, and this might be a little bigger landmass. Although the map is wetlands, I was expecting more uh, smaller chunks of land. There will not be a majority religion. We will change that. Uh, no, I'm going to hold on to my iron right now. So we are one point away from Susan Valletta. Let's declare friendship with this guy. I'm going to hold off declaring friendship with her yet. Because I have a feeling she's going to try and kill Valletta. Let's convert that city. He could have gone in any direction and he decides to settle into me. That's fine. I'm going to make him pay for it. Right. I'm fifth theater first and then get a library. If he sues Valletta, we don't need to get all these things. However, 
you should get some builders and the trader. Actually, do that before. Mathematics. Let's place down the diplomatic water. In fact, build it. I think getting to military engineering would be fine, but I need the water mill first. It'll happen faster. That's a great campus. Pretty much going to guarantee that everybody um, is going to be in a golden age right now, except for Vilemina, which is kind of strange. Thought she would be in a golden age too. Monumentality for sure, and this settler is going to settle right there. Actually, hold on, let's see. It takes you six turns to get there. I'll try to settle both these cities in the same turn. That way, I. Don't have to work with promises and grievances. Okay, trade routes to us. 100% trade routes to, let's say, industrial city-states. I have no idea what's going to pass. Yep, industrial one. And we'll have some, yeah, there's going to be some pretty sick growth stuff here. Get the next settler. Yeah, this guy. I don't want to settle the floodplain really, but I don't think I have a choice. I don't want to get too much in his face anyways. Actually, a city there is perfectly fine. It's safe to say that we have a good uh, lay of the land of our continent. Okay, I'm going to hold on to that envoy. Feudalism, which means, okay, if it's feudalism you want, I will give you feudalism. Get some builders. I think we will switch our governments next turn. Divine rights, get monarchy. I think discipline is kind of stupid and pointless here. Possibly retainers. Let's get maritime industry. We should build some boats. I don't. I have. I haven't seen any barbarian camps. I think barbarian camps are disabled here. I don't. Oh, natural philo. Actually, yeah, let's just do this. Natural philosophy and scripture. We'll see what else happens. I don't want to settle you next turn. It'll be three turns. Okay, that's fine. That is fine. Let's get one more builder. I need six farms. One, two. I need to build. Yeah, I think that should be enough. I will have enough builders for farms. Yeah, I need to sue Valletta. And Wilhelmina is fighting for Valletta right now. Okay, Grandmaster's Chapel should, yeah, totally. Our faith production is going to be a little intense. 
the library can wait. And yeah, the consulate after that. Johannesburg. Let's just put some farms down. You will wait a turn. Actually, two turns. Oh, Roy Rama. So you finally have a promotion. Next turn, we will settle. And you have two charges. Yeah, you can put a farm there. You will wait one turn. Alright, settle. Oh, new continent settle. Okay. And you will settle. Okay, you are gonna put down a holy site. Plus three. Yeah, I don't wanna be next to the volcano. But that's okay. Actually, I'm gonna chop these tiles out. So it doesn't, yeah, the holy site doesn't really have to be here. But I don't, okay, this is the only non flood plain. That's fine. It's all good. Um, I'll be buying settlers from Hari Haralia. And Magnus is gonna go there. You are also going to buy a builder. I'm going to buy this tile. It's a great tile to work first up. Yeah, holy site. It's next to a volcano, but that's fine, I think. Oh, that's amazing. Yep, we are going to put a holy site there. Um, but I'm going to chop the, these. That's this tile first. Yeah, you get a monument. It's fine. Feudalism's turn, and I think we can sue Valletta now. Ooh, I can put a city there and get an ERA score, and this harbor would be pretty okay too. But okay, let me think about this one here. Should I build the Mausoleum Halikarnassus in the city? I can. I have options. I can put a holy site here, here, or here. But I can only... Okay, so let's plan this out. This can be a campus. Plus three campus. It doesn't have to be a campus. So this can be a holy site. The mountain helps on it. Oh no, I already have a holy site south of here. So don't need that there. So if this is the mausoleum of Helicarnassus, where is it? Then the harbor can only be on one of these tiles. Which means this is the harbor, and this can be my commercial hub. But no, this cannot be, because this needs to be my aqueduct. Yeah, this can't be a mausoleum of Helicarnassus city. But the harbor and the commercial hub can stay. And I can put the theater square pretty much uh, any one of these tiles. Now this would be a better industrial zone. No, it's fine. Theater squares first. Yeah, it's fine. We'll, we'll worry about that later. Well, this city needs to plant dams. All right. I put some pins offline or off camera rather. And these are the four cities that we want. We'll possibly do more up here that we may settle for, but we can't really aqueduct here. Questionable whether I'll actually end up putting them down. But definitely we'll put a city out here in this. But we need shipbuilding for that. And yeah, let's continue on. Magnus will be installed here in four turns, so I will chop these after. We will chop these after Magnus settled. Okay, Bologna is in the game, which I mean it's good for Korea, but not great good for us. But actually, Bologna is pretty strong city state for a culture win. Okay, we are at feudalism now, so definitely plugging in serfdom for natural philosophy. Yeah, and I think maritime industries I can plug it out now. I don't see myself building a boat anytime soon. Let's plug retainers. I think it'll be useful. Okay. Need to beeline for reform church here. Most of our faith buys will happen after we have theocracy, which should be in time for the guild's uh, our governor title, which will give Magnus's provision. Three turns, we will chop these things out, but we can chop that out right now.
Okay, military engineering's done. And, okay, that's good. In which case, you should improve that. We have five turns from Grandmaster's Chapel. Yeah, we'll chop that. It's next to a volcano anyways. Yeah, we, have, we don't have a horses settle. Uh, we have an iron here. We have horses. Actually, one right up there. So we may need to settle that anyways. Where are we getting our horses from? Oh, from, from uh, city states. Did we lose? Yeah, we lost Zanzibar. I think we should definitely get it back. Let's just buy some Luxus. Helps us. We will stay happy. Let's try to sell things here. I always want to keep 20 on hand. Wait. What do I do? Oh, I'm an idiot. We will we are accumulating um iron pretty well. Could buy a boat and boost shipbuilding. I think I will. I yeah, need the Eros core too, actually. I would definitely want to make sure we are in a back to back golden age. Yeah, sure. All right, the capital's grown to 15 bob. We can put down one more district next turn, which is probably going to be the industrial zone. Should get to apprenticeship soon. Yep, we'll get there next. We will chop this next turn. Harvest that. Improve that. And place down the aqueduct. Okay, so we have options here, uh, but I'm going to buy the galley first. Yeah, I need to get to Theocracy very, very soon. Yeah, you need to be building these things. I want to get the monument, but yeah, too many things to do. Sure. All right, it's on a river. That's great. <laughs> That's excellent. I had blanked on the fact that uh, we can culture bomb with holy sites. That's actually pretty sick. Which means when we culture bomb this tile here, oh, this is going to, yeah, we're going to get some. I don't think, I think this tile may not get culture bombed, but we might really get these two in the city that is. You can put a farm down here. Yeah, it's a strong, strong farm. Actually, shrine, prasad, and then I'm going to place the aqueduct down. We will have shipbuilding, so I'm going to take this guy and um, wander to the west. Wait. Oh, they are fighting. It's possible that Korea has raised some cities from Holland. Okay, this is good. So harbor here commercial hub here and this city can actually be a very decent mausoleum city if it can i mean i'm not sure i'm going to get it but definitely will try for it you have one charge so improve this So shipbuilding's done. 
Okay, provisions here. Yeah, we are still a few turns away from opportunity cost here. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to... I know I want to buy um, with cheaper faith, with theocracy, but I'm not going to hold on. I'm going to start buying these bear settlers as soon as I can. Yeah, I'll trade with you eventually. Settle the city first. You can put down district number two, which should be a theta square. Get Zanzibar back and turn everybody ecstatic and grow even more. I think that's the plan. <laughs> Look at that. Plus nine. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's sick. You will settle this volcano. Let's see. Can I buy one more? Yes, I can. Not yet. We're not going to trade strategics that are that we need. Yeah, I slowed you down there. Eventually, we'll plug retainers out and actually, yeah, I should do that now because I want to place down my industrial zone. Then two turns, I will. Now let's get researcher. Yeah, there are, so one thing that I, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but I have two dam placements here. Uh, they're both on different rivers, which will work, and the aqueduct's right there. So this industrial zone is going to be pretty sick, which really opens up uh, room to put other districts on these tiles. I want to leave these three alone because it's a, it's a very nice farm triangle, but I'll definitely be harvesting and removing these two. Uh, we lost Valletta. That's okay. We'll get them back. Bologna wants a commercial hub. Alright, now that we have apprenticeship, I'm going to place down my industrial zone here. And I'll place this one down after I harvest these things. Let's do the harvesting now. Yeah, I'll, I'll in fact harvest and place them now in itself. I can do it next turn. Sure, let's get castles. Actually, let's see. Where do we want to be going? I think I want to get buttress first. We'll definitely place down the dams. It looks like this island thingy is something I can definitely settle for. Hello, Canada. Canada. 
No, he's right. Oh, come on. Oh, that's rough. It's a pity I'm crushing it. It's okay. Don't think. Don't overanalyze this. You do what you gotta do. And the dam in four turns. Can you place one more district? No. Can you? You can. What should you build? Aqueduct. In fact, even you can put down an industrial zone. But I want to put a harbor down in the city. But yes, these cities will grow. We are, um, we are Khmer. We will grow really, really tall. I think I can put down a campus. But I want to finish the Prasad here before I do that. We will wait. Hey, Pericles. I think I'm going to send them delegations. Yeah, we, we, they'll end up liking us. Can, with Canada, it's pretty easy keeping them happy. And uh, as long as we're not at war, they will actually be pretty friendly towards us for the rest of the game. So, yeah, I don't think I'll be able to settle. Maybe I might be able to settle this island, but let's see. There are two more sieves that we have yet to find. And I think I will. we will find them soon. Yeah, I lost a pop here, I think, because of this um, stupidity. Right on. So you are going to first get a builder, because you're going to put a holy site right there. I could har yeah, definitely. I want to harvest. Um, so for one turn, you should build, yeah, you build a monument. All right, the kill is settled. And on the same turn, we had two wonder settles, uh, Mount Vesuvius and Ikil. Now I'm totally putting a farm triangle here. Okay, no more faith. Um, wait. Um, yeah, this needs to be an aqueduct. And this will be a holy side. Yeah, I can't put a commercial hub there. I mean, I could, but I think the aqueduct is far more valuable. That's fine. Um, yeah, let's work on the aqueduct first. No. I want to check quick deals to see who gives me the best price. You do. Yeah, let's get friends with him. The only thing, I will ally him, but the only thing I don't want is a cultural alliance with him. Everything else is fine. So, pound maker, actually, let's take, I think a research alliance would be fine. And you... Let's lock away the cultural alliance here. He wants gold. That's fine. I'll take it. That's cool. Wait, Pericles has not met Canada? Pericles has not met Canada. So maybe Pericles and this other civilization is on a separate island. And Canada and the other civilization is on a separate island. That looks like that is the case. Yeah, I get a workshop. And I think I'm going to build a wonder here. Oh, Colosseum. But I need an entertainment complex for that. I can build one here, right here. So, all right. Let's see. Where is the city overlap lens? Range of six. Okay. The most I can get is five, five cities. Okay. That's well, just four cities. Yeah, it's only four cities though. Not the best placement. How about up here? Entertainment complex there is fine. 
But this theta square will need to move. Yeah, so this theta square and entertainment complex should be. Yeah, but the city owner will not be growing that fast. Oh, what a tough choice. It needs to be on this line. And it really needs to be these two cities, these two spots here. I can build it in Angkor Thom, but it'll only hit four cities. Might do that though, that's fine. Um, Chichen Itza is not. I think Mont Saint Michel is a good one to go into after. We can totally, um, yeah, totally put that there. No, no, finish the workshop first. There are no tribal huts this game, so. This style would be a great campus. Before I start harvesting stuff, I want to make sure I have good tiles that the city can work. Well, let's improve that. Yeah, there are no barbarians this game. Had I known that from the start, I would have definitely played differently. Yeah, knowing that there are no barbarians in tribal huts, I think... I mean, I we did, we did pretty much uh, not focus on any military from the get-go. Yeah, at least I wouldn't have been worrying about it. Um, we could have put plugged in different cards. You will place the dam there, and you are going to buy that tile out. Or no, build a dam. Yeah, let's get harbor deck. I think cartography and casa would be very useful here. Oh, we have someone, a writer, okay. Our first writer. Even reliquaries would be would have been actually pretty decent to get. Come to think of it. I think I'm going to buy a watermill here. Build the prasad first. No, next turn. All faith buys will happen next turn. How many turns till the next? Okay, about 14 odd turns. I think we are. We need 7 hero score, and I think we should be able to make it. Oh, wait. Thought you were building Mont Saint Michel. 
But a four turn dam is actually pretty good. Pretty damn good. If I get the casa, I'm going to put it right there. And, a, and an entertainment complex right there. I think the theater square there is going to be fine. I strongly doubt I'm going to get it. But I'm definitely going to try for it after the theater square and aqueducts are built. Or the, uh, after these buildings are built. Holy sites and aqueducts and everything. Harry Farm Church, we are definitely switching to it. Scripture is still strong. That extra faith is going to help us. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep serfdom in. But I think I can plug out of urban planning. Instead of urban planning, I can go for autocratic legacy. Yeah, it's going to max magnify the production in, in the capital. Yeah, diplomatic service. Yeah, let's put a farm triangle there. It's fine. And now you can buy one more settler. Actually, one more next turn too. We need five era score to guarantee our golden age. And I should only hope that the Cree don't. So you should try and make your way here. Yeah, you can find your own way. Every future city from this point on will be somewhere north of here. So I should move Hariharalia or Magnus out of Hariharalia. Yeah, let's put you in Vimayapura. Hey, hello. Someone right there. Oh, I'm definitely going to find that. Should I send... Yeah, 12 loyalty is going to be a little hard. Yeah, I can put down a harbor now. I think I can put down a district here too, right? Yes, I can. I've already placed the theater square and industrial zone here. Should put down a commercial hub too. Place it there, that's fine. Actually, you should finish the dam first. Yeah, finish the dam, then the industrial zone. Oh, and this city should put down a district. Hey, oh, you know, this is fantastic. This is actually f friggin' fantastic. Because what we are going to do here is, yes, we are going to declare friends with him. And we are going to take a military alliance with him. And generally, Gilgamesh is never a cultural victory threat. But Gilgamesh deciding to go to war with someone will... 
if we decide if you, if you want to go to war with someone we can definitely manipulate kill commission to doing it for us uh maybe except canada canada might be a little challenging there yeah i think potato boom has thought through this more than i give him credit for this is really cool let's try to win for faith plug in everything for faith okay who who's the most hated person right now these two Coco might pass actually because it's a sing only one person has three copies of it so Coco might pass it's possible truffles passes but i think Coco will pass so let's vote for Coco grants no amenities gypsum okay might be the sieve that we haven't met yet okay we need to get zanzibar back actually zanzibar can wait we need to get valletta back let's buy some luxuries all right so i've been at this for some time now and i think this is a good spot to call an end to this video yeah i think we are well set turn 92 we have an 18 pop city 110 pop city and pretty much the rest of the cities are going to be growing really really fast we still aren't done settling we will be putting some settles down as far as culture victory conditions are concerned yeah we there is still a lot of work to do a lot of work needs to happen here and it will happen eventually but yeah but the next hour is going to be just consolidation settling down the spot spots we want and then consolidating our land and at some point in about 10 turns we i'm hoping for a golden age which can pressure um this this Greece city at least I think I will. I think this is definitely going to happen because his uh, his capital is the tallest. Um, it's a 10 pop city, but everything else, I mean, we have 18 and 10 pops and 8 pops and possibly a 10 pop right there, staring down, pressuring this one. And if he's in anything but a golden age, I think we can we definitely have a good chance of flipping this. Well, uh, yeah, that's for the next hour. Thank you for watching and see you for the next one. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please like and subscribe for updates on my games. And if you're already subscribed, my heartfelt thanks to you. Thank you.